and welcome to the course. In this lecture, we will learn about some logical functions in Dux and switch function. These are some logical functions like and, or, and in. And uh, sometimes we, we have to use and and we can also use in some situations we can use double ampersand and in the same way in some situations we can use double pipes and uh, the same way we can use all. So we will learn about how we can use these operators in DAX. Let's open to the Power BI and in the data tab we can write one new column and here we can write one uh, formula just we need to give column name like groups and we can run if or subjects is equal to math or subjects is equal to double course physics then we can write if if subject is, is equal to math or subject is equal to physics then we can write group 1 otherwise can write uh, group 0 so see here we can see um, where group uh, subject is, is math or physics we can see there is a group 1 uh, when this is a chemistry or math or some other it is 0 if we have to add one more subject then we cannot use or function because or 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 and only takes two parameters uh, two arguments so if we need uh, one more subject like if we say okay uh, we have to add computer inside then what we can do we have to write one more or condition here computer we have to here write here subject is equal to computer And here you you can see um, now we can see uh, under computer we can see a uh, group one every uh, or function needs two parameters so the outer or is taking this parameter so this is the first parameter and then this one is the second parameter for outer R and in, in the same way you can add a uh, multiple r but it will bit more uh, complicated the easiest way is we can write a uh, simple pipe pipe operator if marks um, subject is, is equal to math or then it is group 1 otherwise group 0 so it is easy to, to write and then you can make identification so this is the way how you can write uh, multiple or conditions and in the same way you can write for example uh, and condition you, you can write um, if and 
and here we can write uh, midterm marks is greater than 15 or and um, final term marks is greater than 50 then you can write here group 1 otherwise group 0 so if it is greater than 15 uh, this is is greater than 15 20 chemistry and the final is greater than 50 is um, the the first one the chemistry is meter marks is greater than 15 and uh, the final term marks is greater than 50 here you can see group one and in the same way you can uh, check we can mix uh, this and function with or how we can do that we can say okay um, we just need to write here or and um, up to here this is the first logical operator and then we can write here subjects is equal to math now here you can see now we have here one more condition math math here you can see 25 62 is a group 1 and again we can see math is 21 math 20 and again 20 25 okay let's see some computer if we write here computer see now here we have computer uh, the meter marks is 12 but still it is in group 1 so here you can see we can add or and and uh, with each other in one formula so let's have a look to the switch function how switch works right here switch and then switch takes expression value and result so here we, we can give one expression so expression will be subjects and then we can write if it contains physics then should be py otherwise if and then we have to write bio and we can say okay with bio then bio otherwise we can say unknown hit enter and here you can see this is the new group uh, we can you can just rename it privation and say physics is py chemistry is ch and if you have multiple uh, conditions then it's better to use a uh, switch function here you can give one uh, expression here and then this is the value for that uh, uh, expression the subject subject either contain physics either chemistry math computer and whatever so this is how logical functions and uh, switch works and in the same way you can use uh, in operator in operator and or operator both are interchangeable 
let's see how we can work with the in operator um, we can add one more column here we can rename this one to like groups here I can write if subjects in and then we need a bracket here you have to give one list and that list contain like a computer then math then physics if the subjects are in this list then we can write here then we can say okay then write uh, group one if these subjects are not in the list then we have to write here any value that you want to print group zero hit enter if the subjects exist in this list then we can write group one otherwise it is group zero so it is checking row by row so first physics is is there and physics is okay the physics is available in the list if yes then make it group one then the second row is second line is chemistry chemistry is not in the list then make it zero group zero then math if the math is in the list then make it group one otherwise group zero this is how uh, in is in operator is working in index so it is quite similar to the or operator or and in are both interchangeable depending on the condition and situation where you want to use so that's all about logical functions operators index and switch function so let's meet to the next lecture